How can you earn cryptocurrency without spending a fortune on expensive equipment and gigantic electricity bills? Imagine being able to make a profit just by holding coins in your wallet. Sounds like science fiction? Thanks to new methods of confirming transactions on the blockchain, this has become a reality. Hi, I'm Sarah. Today I'll tell you how proof-of-work and proof-of-stake technologies can open doors to the world of crypto earnings and how you can earn on cryptocurrencies even without serious investments. Let's get started! So, what are these mysterious POW and POS? And why are they so important for your crypto wallet? Imagine that the blockchain is a huge digital ledger maintained by thousands of people worldwide simultaneously. Each page of this ledger is a block containing transaction information. And here is the cool part. Once a page is filled and added to the ledger, it can't be ripped out or changed without the consent of the majority of the keepers on this ledger. But who decides which page gets added next? This is where our hero comes in, the consensus mechanism. It's like all the keepers of the ledger coming together and agreeing on the rules for deciding whose page gets added next. Consensus is necessary for all network participants to come to a common agreement on which block to add next. Without this process, it would be impossible to maintain order in the network and protect data from fraud. Now, let's talk about the proof of work, POW, the first and the most famous consensus mechanism which powers Bitcoin itself. Its main task is to ensure the security and integrity of the blockchain so that data cannot be altered or forged. How does this work on a technical level? Each block contains transaction information, and in order to confirm them and add a new block to the blockchain, miners must solve a complex task, which involves finding the hash, a special number that meets certain conditions. But don't rush to turn on your home computer for mining just yet. Over the years of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies existent, mining has undergone significant changes. Here are three key changes. First, in the early years of Bitcoin, any enthusiast could mine on their home computer. Today, however, successful mining requires specialized devices called ASICs, application-specific integrated circuits. Second, as Bitcoin's popularity grew and more miners joined, the difficulty of the task constantly increased. It's like the lock you need to open, becoming more and more complex each day. Third, in 2013-2014, you could recover the costs of mining equipment within a few months. Nowadays, mining has become a serious business. It's primarily conducted by large companies and mining pools with the resources to buy powerful equipment and access to cheap electricity. So, while mining can still be profitable under certain conditions, for most everyday users it has become too expensive and complex to undertake. Now, friends, let's break down why proof-of-work simultaneously fascinates and frightens experts. The three superpowers of proof-of-work First, unbreakable security. POW is an imperitable fortress. For a hacker to breach this system, they would need to control more than 50% of the entire network's computing power. It's so difficult and expensive that even comic book supervillains would think twice. Second, decentralization. In the POW world, power is distributed among all participants. It's as if every citizen could take part in making every law. Third, attack resistance. POW makes the network resistant to various types of attacks, such as double spending. It's like an all-seeing eye that watches every coin in the system. The two supervillian weaknesses of proof of work. First, energy vampire. POW consumes so much energy that environmentalists are tearing their hair out. Shocking fact! The Bitcoin network consumes more energy than some countries. Second, inaccessibility. Mining has become a game for big players with deep pockets. Modern ASIC miners cost thousands of dollars, not to mention the electricity bills. Proof of work is like a superhero from a comic book. It protects the crypto world, but its superpowers can harm the planet's environment. Now, let's meet Proof of Stake, the new hero that promises to maintain all the superpowers of POW 
but without the destructive side effects. What is proof of stake? Imagine that instead of a messy computing farm, you have a piggy bank. Yeah, exactly, a piggy bank. In the POS world, your superpower is the number of coins you are willing to put in that piggy bank. Or stake, as crypto geeks say. Proof of stake is like a VIP club for cryptocurrency holders. The more coins you have in your piggy bank, the higher the chance you'll be chosen to verify the next block of transactions. It's like a lottery where the number of tickets you have depends on the size of your crypto wallet. You can watch a detailed video about how staking works on my channel. The link is in the description. Recently, Ethereum made a truly epic transition from proof of work to proof of stake. This event, known as the merge, was a real breakthrough in the crypto world. Now, if you have 32 ETH, which by the way is about $83,000, you can become validator in the Ethereum network. This means you can participate in transaction verification and receive rewards for it. Essentially, your ETH starts working for you, generating passive income. Of course, 32 ETH is no small sum. But there are other ways to participate in Ethereum staking through pools or centralized exchanges, where you can start with smaller amounts. Proof of stake versus proof of work – Battle of the Titans So, friends, we've gotten to know two superheroes of the crypto world – proof of work and proof of stake. Now, it's time for an epic showdown to figure out who's cooler. Ready? Let's go! Round 1 – Energy Efficiency POW this guy is a real energy vampire. Bitcoin mining consumes more energy than some entire countries. Imagine needing to light up a million light bulbs for each transaction. POS. But proof of stake is an aqua barrier. Ethereum's transition to POS cuts its energy use by 99.95%. It's like your gas guzzling SUV suddenly transformed into an electric scooter. Winner, proof of stake. Round 2. Accessibility. POW. To join the game, you need to buy expensive equipment. It's like trying to get into an elite club where the dress code is suit made of pure gold. POS. Here, the doors are open to everyone. Anyone with a bit of cryptocurrency can participate. In Cardano, for example, you can start staking with just a few ADA in your pocket. Winner! Proof of stake! Round 3. Decentralization POW While POW was initially intended to be a fully decentralized system, the reality is more complicated. Mining pools and large farms can control a significant portion of the network. POS at first glance, POS seems more democratic, but there is a catch here too. Large coin holders can gain too much power. Imagine if voting rights in your city depended on the size of your bank account. Not very fair, right? Winner! A tie! Both systems have issues with centralization. Round 4. Costs POW To start mining, you need to invest thousands of dollars in equipment. It's like buying a spaceship just to commute to work. POS. There is no need for expensive hardware here, but for staking in Ethereum, you need at least 32 ETH. As of this recording, that's over $80,000. It's like saying you don't need a car for work, but you do need a personal helicopter. Winner. Slight advantage to proof of stake, but both options can be costly. Final score. Proof of stake wins on points, but that doesn't mean proof of work is headed for retirement. Each system has its strengths and applications. In the end, the choice between POW and POS depends on the project's specific goals and the community's preferences. It's like choosing between a supercar and an electric vehicle. Both are cool, but suited for different purposes. Now that you know the difference between proof of work and proof of stake, the question is, which mechanism is right for you? Share your thoughts in the comments and let's keep the discussion going. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the latest videos on the crypto world. Thanks for watching and see you next time!